Okay, so hello everybody. Um, since it's very hot out here, I'm just going to do a very quick video uh, talking about two pretty interesting non-trivial surfaces, the climb bottle and the torus. So these are two things that are quite easy to get one's head around uh, if you think about it in the right way. Um, however, some of the methods that I'm going to be talking about today are very interesting and can be expanded to th think about many other kinds of surfaces and also higher dimensional things like three dimensional manifolds and interesting things like that. So um, basically I want to talk about the torus which is basically just a donut shape so it's very easy to construct a torus. Um, for example, you can just get some blue tack and make a ring with it like that. So um, the torus is like the simplest non-trivial surface um, and you can see basically the idea is that um, if you walk in either this direction or this direction you just go around in circles. Um, so in a way you can think of the torus as a sort of circle of circles. So this is a kind of three-dimensional depiction of a torus, but we're really only interested in the way that the surface itself is linked up. So since the torus is just a surface, um, it's interesting to try and represent it in a purely two-dimensional way. So here is quite a nice way to try and do that. Um, I'm hoping this is coming out clearly. Basically, uh, all I've got here is a piece of paper with some arrows drawn on it, and the arrows are pointing in the same direction uh, on opposite sides. So, basically, what this thing represents is just that in order to make a tor this represents a torus, in the sense that in order to make a torus, we just have to identify these arrows going in the same, di same direction. So. If we pretend that these things are the same points, if we sort of glue them together uh, on the left and right, so if we sort of glue these uh, same direction arrows together, we get a tube. And then if you look at the uh, ends of this tube, you can see that these are um, also going in the same direction. So that means we ought to glue these parts together again, and one can see that you've got a torus essentially. So this is really quite nice because basically what we're doing here is we're representing a torus in a really simple way. Um, basically just a square with the opposite ends identified. Um, and so this is really neat because basically the torus is just a surface. So we'd like a purely two-dimensional representation of it. Um, and the other really neat thing is you can think about lots and lots of more complicated things like this. For example, you might imagine a hexagon with opposite sides identified or an octagon or whatever. Um, but you can also do some more interesting things and this is where we get a climb bottle from. So if you look at this you'll notice that the opposite, the arrows on opposite, um, on opposite edges point in the same direction. So that means that if you're walking this way here, you'd be walking this way here. So you should identify the things like this. However, imagine that these arrows were actually pointing in the opposite direction. Now what, what that would mean would be that we'd have to give this a twist before we glue it to there. And that would lead to something uh, like a Mobius strip to construct it um, roughly we'd want to do something like give this half a twist before we would um, glue it here and we should end up with something like a Mobius strip okay so that's essentially what a climb bottle is it's the thing that you get by taking the torus and um, taking the kind of 2D representation of the torus and just um, adding a twist to it by essentially reversing the direction of one of those arrows. So you see here that to make the climb bottle we're still going to be rolling up the side because the arrows on the left and right have the same direction. So we still want to be identifying them 
to make some kind of tube. But notice that the arrows on the top and on the bottom actually have opposite directions. So that means that before identifying the top and the bottom, we actually ought to give them a twist. And so essentially you could say that a Klein bottle looks like a Mobius strip in one direction and it looks like a torus in the other direction in some sense. So um, basically in order to make it what we ought to do then is to roll up uh, the left and right so we identify the left and right and now let's have a look at this tube here. So you can see that on this side the arrows are going downwards and on this side here the arrows are going upwards so somehow we want to glue the left and the right side of the tube so that these arrows have the same direction. So we can't just bend around the thing because if we just bend around the thing you'll see that um, if this is going clockwise then this is going anti-clockwise. So that's not good enough. In fact what we actually want to do is we want to extend this out and then we have to intersect the surface itself and then go inside this tube and glue it inside. So that's a rather strange idea. In fact, it cannot actually be done in three-dimensional space. It's not possible to create a climb bottle in 3D space without having some surfaces intersecting themselves. But anyway, that doesn't stop us from making some sort of model. And this is the usual type of model. I 3D printed this. Essentially, um, the idea is that the climb bottle is just a tube, can be visualized as a tube, uh, which kind of goes up and then goes back inside itself and joins at the bottom. So this thing has some fairly interesting properties. Um, in particular it's a one-sided surface so if you just start painting this black then um, if you just keep painting you'll find that you paint all of this black and then you keep painting the outside and you find that you end up painting uh, what's kind of in the hole as well. So this only has one side and it's a non-orientable surface. Why is it non-orientable? Well basically because it sort of contains a Mobius strip. So the uh, Klein bottle is a non-orientable surface um, and it can also be thought of as the union of two Mobius strips. So essentially if you sort of cut down here, um, there are other pictures you can Google for which show this better, but if you cut down here, you actually just get two Mobius strips.